I know I look rusty, crusty, dusty, but it's cool. I'm about to go to bed. But before I go to bed, I decided to make this video because it's been on my heart. It's been on my mind. And it needs to be said. Now, 2018 is coming to an end. And I feel like this needs to be said. Because we need to start improving ourselves. In 2019, I need to start improving myself in 2019. The first thing I'm going to talk about is cheaters. Okay? Cheaters. And then I'm going to talk about some other shit. Now, here's my opinions on cheaters. Male or female. I'm strictly going to talk about the fellas. But this does apply to females too. If you are a cheater, I feel like you should be shot. Figuratively speaking, of course. Because we don't need any more people dying. I know some people take offense to that, but I have to say that because people take shit literally nowadays. But I just feel like if you're going to cheat, why not just be honest with the person, with your partner, and just be like, look, I don't want you no more. You don't cook. You can't clean. Uh, you don't take care of your kids. Your toenails long as hell. Your head long as fuck. Your head wide as fuck. Your eyebrows don't match. I can't deal with this shit no more. Your lace front is like right here. I can't say it. your your eyebrows touching your hairline, your fake hairline. I can't deal with it no more. Why can't you just be honest and tell the truth? Why do you gotta lie and cheat? And then this brings me to my next point. And fellas usually do this. Not all guys do this, but guys do do this. Why when y'all cheat? Y'all downgrade. Not only should you be shot, but you should be castrated. What? And let me just say this. Looks are not the most important thing. They are, I feel like they are important. Because in order for you to be interested in a person, the looks you, the one thing you're interested in is how they look. But you got to know the difference between somebody who is attractive and has a personality to match that or someone who's just something to look at because they just look good but their personality is like a board stiff as a board boring boring like plank from ed ed and eddie boring you don't say shit don't do shit he's just there you see what i'm saying so but back to my original point why do y'all do that Y'all can have a girl that looks like a woman who looks like Beyonce, who looks like Naomi Campbell, who looks like Ryan Destiny, Rihanna, SZA, Desiree Mitchell, Kelly Sweet. I don't know. She's just bad. But y'all cheat on her with a bitch that looks like a jar of toenails, who looks like freaking <laughs> Cynthia from Rugrats, who looks like freaking Dee Dee from fucking Dexter's Laboratory. Who looks like an old jar of peanut butter? Who looks like an old carton of spoiled milk? Why? See, I'm about to laugh. <laughs> but seriously though, why? And again, looks is not everything. Looks, don't be fooled. Because just because they look like angels, they can be fucking demons. But nigga. And I say nigga because that's nigga shit. It's ignorant as hell. That's why I say nigga. But why? I'm sorry. I thought the whole point of cheating was the upgrade for what you got now. You trying to, you trying, you got a freaking Ford Taurus and you trying to get a Lamborghini. But instead, you downgrade from that and get an old ass jalopy. I'm just not understanding. I'm not. So, if I was going to cheat, which I don't condone that, but if I was going to cheat, I'm upgrading. He's going to look like Keith Powers. No disrespect to Ryan Destiny. I love you, girl. But if Keith was single, I'm cuffing. Anyway, um, he's going to look like Keith Powers, honey. He's going to look like Tofi. He's going to look like Shamik Moore, Algie Smith, Cash Mooney from freaking Grownish, whose stage name is Da Vinci. Uh, he's going to look like Morris Chestnut, Michael Ely. 
Michael, you zaddy as shit. You know what I'm saying? You zaddy as shit. You know anyway, ain't no way in hell I'm dating somebody who looks like a bag of dicks. I'm not about to date somebody who looks like a freaking Teletubby. I'm not about to date somebody who looks like a Furby. I'm just. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I can go on and on with that. But seriously, I'm not. Also, I'm gonna talk about, since we're talking about dating, I'm gonna talk about it. What I've learned in 2018 is that guys are hella interesting. Hella interesting. I met some, some good ones that I felt like it could have worked out, but maybe it just wasn't there. And the guy I'm talking about, he knows exactly who he is. He's probably watching this video, and it's cool. If we see each other again, when we see each other again, it's all love. We can still be friends. I'm not that petty. I feel like we had a good connection. We can at least be friends. Um, I met some other good ones, but I felt like they were rushing things. And then some guys I met were just fucking weird. And not weird in a, oh my gosh, you're weird. It's so cute. I mean, weird like you're creepy, and I think I need a restraining order. Like, I'm so goddamn serious. But what I'm learning about myself is that I feel like I catch feelings too fast when I talk to guys because what happens is I'll meet a guy and probably it's the guy that I like, right? And then I start going into la la land. I'm living in a fantasy when I should be living in the reality. I'm in a fantasy world and I'm thinking about what what could it be and how it would be and it's so amazing and he's so good looking blah 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 that I'm not taking the time out to really get to know him and seeing the reality of some shit. Seeing that he has the personality of a goddamn penny. And I say penny because pennies are worthless. What the fuck can you do with a penny? Nothing. Who the fuck wants a penny? What can a penny do for you? It's worthless. He's... He, he has the personality of a rock. He has the personality of a dick. And not like a dick. Like, oh, he's a dick. I mean, like an actual dick. Like, dicks are ugly. That's my point. So, I'm learning not to do that. I'm taking my time with each person that I meet. First of all, I'm learning how to approach guys. Because that's something that I'm not used to doing. Because usually when I see a guy, I just let him go. I don't talk to him. I don't do nothing. But I'm learning how to do that. And, um... I'm going to know a few of them and just see where it goes. If it don't go nowhere, it don't go nowhere. If it goes somewhere and we end up being friends, then that's cool. If it ends up that we something, then that's cool too. Oh my God, I just made my hair worse. Uh, But yeah, so that's what I'm learning. Another thing that I learned about myself is that I am, I have a strong personality. I have a, I had a friend point this out to me and I was like, what? No, I don't. I do not, I do not have a strong personality, but I feel like I, always had a strong personality I just was that person who just kept my feelings inside and I never really spoke my mind because I wanted people to like me so goddamn bad so I just agreed like a follower that's kind of I mean I know I'm not a follower but at the same time I do have my moments when I'm like ah, well, yeah. no I don't do that anymore I don't do that anymore. I'm very opinionated and that can also scare guys off they don't some guys don't like girls who are so opinionated or so strong-minded so I guess I would have to find a guy who's probably probably just as strong minded as me and who's able to take criticism, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't hold back. I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to apologize for speaking my mind and, and telling the truth and having an opinion. I'm sorry. I, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that at all. So I mean I just feel like would you rather me hurt your feelings by telling you the truth or hurt your feelings by telling you a lie? And I'm going to give you one scenario. And this is like the oldest scenario in the book. If I had a friend and she asked me, does this dress make me look fat? Would you rather me say no? You look like Dr. Robotnik from Sonic the Hedgehog. You look like Humpty Dumpty could fall at any minute. You look like Mr. Popo from Dragon Ball Z. No boo, let's get back in this closet. Let's find you something that can better show off your figure. Cause you got a nice figure, boo. This dress is it just ain't working for you, boo. Because I don't give a damn. Stop fat shaming people. Fat girl I I don't even like the word fat. I hate the word fat. Plus size women, I don't know why y'all think they so ugly. They're not. 
You don't have to be a size zero to be cute. I'm not even a size zero. I just feel like I just I just would rather tell you the truth because I'm telling you the truth not to hurt your feelings. I'm telling you the truth because I care about you and I want you to look your best and I want you to look like a fool out here because you're my friend. I'm not going to stand for it. If I didn't care, I wouldn't be telling you the truth. See, y'all remember Jody from Baby Boy, how he was telling Yvette, I lie to you because I care about your feelings. I'm the opposite of that. I don't even understand that bullshit. And you actually have, have guys who think like that. No, because either way, you're hurting me by telling me to whatever. <laughs> anyway, I'd rather tell you the truth. Because I'd rather you tell me the truth. If I look like a freaking toothpick, then tell me I look like a toothpick. If I look like a goddamn crushed can of soda and not that main brand shit, the off brand shit. If I look like a can of, of a generic soda, tell me. So we can fix it so I can look like royalty. So we can look like royalty. Because I'm going to get you together. Because you breathe royalty. You do. You have to keep saying that to yourself. That you are a queen, boo. You don't have to be a size zero to be a queen. You don't have to be. But anyway. Another thing I don't want to see in 2019. This fuck boy shit. It's got to end. But I know it's not going to end. Because we do have a fuckboy in office. We also have another fuckboy. I think he's trying to run for office. Um, I don't know his name. I think his name is Kanye West. Um, yeah, that nigga. Um, I call him a nigga because he's ignorant as fuck too. Um, just because he's a Gemini like me and we share a birthday doesn't mean I have to like you. But anyway, um... You're not woke if you're following Kanye West. Well, he preaches free thought. Okay, but why are you doing... Why are you freely thinking? Is, we, is it because Kanye told you to? Or is it because you chose to do that? How are you woke but you taking on somebody else's ideology? That makes no fucking sense to me. Be your own person. Have your own mind. Yes, take from a few people. Take from Dr. Umar Johnson. Even though all them, pro, them fucking pro-black leaders is fake as hell. They're just using black people for their money. But of course y'all don't see it. But hey... That ain't none of my business. You want to give them their money? Give, give, you want to give them money? Give them money. But I'm not about to do that. I'm not about to fall for the okie doke. I'm not about to drink the Kool-Aid and eat the fried chicken. I'm just not going <laughs> to. I've been watching Paul Mooney too much. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. They're all fucking fraudulent as hell. But if you want to keep following them, boo, you do that all you want. They're all being exposed for being frauds anyway. And yet y'all still following them. Kanye West. If y'all want to follow him, fine. But just know, in my opinion, you're not woke. That's my opinion, though. That's my opinion, though. You, I'm not saying you ain't get, You can like the man's music. He got some bops. I'm not going to fucking lie. But I'm not about to follow him. No, I'm, I'm about to follow myself and do what's best for me. I'm not about to buy some Yeezys because Kanye told me to buy some Yeezys. I'm not about to do it. And... And furthermore, he was only saying that shit to promote his album. Y'all don't realize that when, when these are the moments when Kanye West acts out when he's promoting something. You're just now catching. You ain't caught on. Remember 2013? You cannot give me any advice. How you ain't got the you ain't got the answer, Sway. I just told you who I thought I was. A God. I just told you. Y'all, 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 y'all for, forgot. We just we just gonna act like that didn't happen. Wasn't he promoting his clothing line at that time? Exactly. What happened to that clothing line? What clothing line? Exactly. The homeless clothing line. The one that had you looking like a freaking... I might as well go there. <laughs> but anyway, we gotta do better. We gotta do better. 2019 is coming. We gotta make some improvements for ourselves. You know what? I'm about to say this shit too. Know your worth. This is for men and women. Know your worth. Because a lot of y'all are living in la-la land. I don't know. If, like I said, I don't know if y'all living in la-la land. I don't know if y'all dickmatized, pussymatized. I don't know what it is. But y'all need to wake up. You, My mom always told me. You know, I'll get to that in a second. But, because a lot, I say this because a lot of y'all are with people who ain't shit. 
They ain't shit. They have the personality of a dumbbell. They ain't shit. They're nothing. Okay, I probably shouldn't use dumbbell because you actually use those to work out. They're actually kind of helpful. But you get what I'm saying. Look at your boyfriend right now. Look at your girlfriend now. And just think. Is he worth it? Can he work it? Could he put his thing down, flip it, and reverse it? And I'm not being funny. I know y'all are laughing because I just quoted Missy Elliott. But I'm not being funny. When I say that, what I'm talking about is... Is he worthy? Is he worthy enough? Does he take care of me? Does he satisfy me mentally, sexually, emotionally, spiritually? Does he treat me right? Does he actually communicate with me? At all? Because if he don't, you need to keep it moving. And you need to improve it. Move it, approve it. Approve it. Improve it. <laughs> move it. Improve it. Okay? You need to just get a move on. Get a move on. Stop dating these fuck boys. And they always come when you, when, when you are doing this. You living your best life. Your edges is back. Your natural hair is popping. Your weave is popping. Your lace front is sitting correctly on your head. Your eyebrows match. Your makeup is popping. You're getting good grades. You're making paper. You know, you're walking, you're rocking your fashion over clothes. You about to graduate. You got a new car. You got that new promotion. Your kids ain't acting up. You know, you just living your best life. And then these vampires show up. I call them vampires. These vampires show up and they think, wow, there's a queen right there and she got her shit together. Let's go ahead and fuck her up and make her feel like a peasant at any end. Because that's what they do. And they always get you because some boys are never ugly. I never... I, no. I'm lying. I did talk to a few ugly ones. But rarely they're not. They get you with their looks and they get you with the things that they say. And actions speak louder than words. I always say... Actually, I quoted from Janet Jackson. But what she said was, it's not what you say that makes me want to play. It's what you, it's what you say after that makes me want to stay. To me, it's not what you say that makes me want to stay. It's what you do that makes me want to stay. Because anybody can say I love you. Anybody can say that. But can you prove it? I have talked to too many guys who have told me, no, I want a relationship with you, but they ain't done shit to show me that they want a relationship. I ain't got the time for it. I'm not about to sit here and wait on you. I'm not. I'm going to move on with my life and find somebody who does want to be in a relationship with me. Yeah, that's better. But, that's... No. So, in 2019... Actually, before 2019, my mom always told me, because I feel like... A real man or a real woman, if he or she knows that you're worthy enough, they're not going to put you through bullshit. They're going to try their damnness to keep you. But And nobody's perfect, but they're going to try. They're going to try at least. I know I'm missing the nail right there. Anyway, um, but my mom always told me, you have to, sometimes when you're talking to someone or you're dealing with someone, you have to think about the future. If they have some shit with them, you have to think, can you deal with that in five years? Do you want to deal with that, that bullshit in five years? Do you want to deal with that bullshit next year? Hell, do you want to deal with it next week? And I know it's hard to leave a relationship, but you have to. Sometimes in order to find yourself, you got to lose people in the process whether that's friends relationship whatever family members and I'm not talking about like in death I'm talking about I'm talking about like you gotta cut them off you gotta cut people off to find yourself and I can tell you I've never been happier I let all the bullshit that happened two years ago I let it go 
And now I don't tolerate it anymore. At all. I ain't got the time for it. I ain't got the time nor the patience. So as you walk into 2019, I know it's early, but think about this video. Do better. We all need to do better. Better. We all need to. I got some shit I need to work on. I'm sure you got some shit you got to work on because ain't nobody perfect. Ain't nobody perfect. And if you want to sit here and, 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 and if you, how can I put this? Because some people think they just know every goddamn thing. You don't, I always say in life, I don't know nothing because I don't know everything. I don't know everything. I'm still learning about myself every day. I don't know everything. Nobody does. And if you claim you do, you're a liar. And you're full of shit. And you're, st you're going to be left behind in 2018. You can live your life in 2018. You, hell, you're probably still in 2010 living life. Because you still ain't willing to find yourself. And move on. But I want us all to be better. So... Let's get to it. Let's get to it. And yes, I look rusty, crusty, dusty, but that's okay. Because I know I'm beautiful. I know my worth. Do you know yours? Do you know? Do, honestly, do you know your worth? You better know it. You better know it. And that's all I got to say. So, good night, Facebook. Or good morning, whenever you see this shit. And, yeah.